Hi, I'm Dr. Kat Holt from Massey University working with Veritaxa, the inventor of the Classifinder Automated Pollen Counting System, which I'm going to demonstrate for you now. The Classifinder combines robotics, image processing and neural network classifying technology to locate, image and classify pollen on conventionally prepared microscope slides. And today I'd like to demonstrate just how easy it is to use the Classifinder to image pollen collected off everyday items like people's clothing and shoes and that it's just a matter of minutes between collecting that pollen off the clothing and placing it on the Classifinder and then you're imaging and classifying that pollen. And so the first step in doing that is to actually collect the pollen off the, the clothing. So now I'm going to demonstrate the process by which pollen makes it onto uh, everyday items such as clothing and how we can collect that pollen off the clothing and quickly prepare it into a slide for analysis on the classifinder. So I'm going to simulate a person coming in contact uh, with vegetation or basically being in the environment where, where pollen is about uh, by using this branch here uh, and dusting it against this piece of clothing like so. So just simulating someone coming in contact with vegetation. Uh, and then we want to have a look at the pollen that's present on the clothing. And so if we do a simple shake like so and we trust that some of that pollen will come off and then we put the clothing to the side and then we take a microscope slide and we take our film that the pollen has been collected on and fold it up like so and with a brush we want to we want to try and get some of that onto the slide. And then once we have that sample material on the slide, uh, we place a drop of glycerin jelly, liquid glycerin jelly, onto the slide like so. And then a cover slip. And allow that to spread. And so then we cool the slide to encourage the glycerin jelly to set quick. And now we've got the slide prepared, it's just a simple matter of popping it on the classifinder stage. So then we take the prepared slide and place it on the stage of the classifinder, which is essentially the same as a standard microscope stage. And then we load the slide on, and the slide's then imaged with the low resolution camera. And so we can see objects on there. And after some initial focus, we can then uh, give this slide a name. And so we can add the geolocation information so that the site where the sample was collected from, uh, and we also add a date which the sample was collected. And this information that we enter here is tagged onto every single image file that is collected um, from this slide. And then once that information's in, we send the computer to, um, we send the classifinder to scan the slide uh, at low resolution and find the location of all the objects of interest on the slide. And so once that is done, we can then um, ask the system to image every pollen object that it's identified on that slide. So once the low resolution scan has located all of the objects believed to be pollen, then it will send the high resolution camera to those locations to capture high resolution images of those pollen grains. So the classifier has been imaging for a few minutes now and we'll just stop it and have a look at some of those images that it's captured. The high resolution camera catches a series of images along the z-axis of a pollen grain. It then takes the most in-focus portions of each of those images and compiles it together to produce a composite image, the example of which you see on the screen now. The colour coding reflects depth and that blue tones reflect uh, the, the top of the pollen grain whereas yellows and reds represent the back of the pollen grain. So by doing this we give a sense of the 3D structure of the pollen grain. So now we've demonstrated how easy it is to get pollen onto a slide and start imaging that pollen with the classifinder. We'll now demonstrate how the image libraries are prepared and how classification is done. 
So after the high resolution camera has finished imaging every pollen object it's detected on the slide, those images are then presented in a folder, which is what we can see here. So these are an example of a series of images collected from a sample of honey this time. So we have many different types of pollen in this sample and here we can see those images in the one folder. So to classify those images shown in the previous folder, the system employs a neural network classification system by which the folder of images is given to the neural network, uh, which then compares it with images in library files of known pollen types. Uh, and so it's a simple process of selecting a neural, your prepared neural network from the list uh, and then selecting the suitable folder of images that we looked at previously uh, and then setting it going. And there you can see the system progressively classifying the pollen types in that set with the pie chart constantly adjusting to show the proportions of the taxa as they're identified. Another useful feature of the Classifinder is its ability to return to the precise location a particular pollen image was captured time and time again. And this can be particularly useful if that pollen grain needs further identification or further analysis. And the system does this by, if you provide it with the image that you're interested in and drop that into the software, the system then prompts you to place the slide of origin onto the stage and then will return to the precise location of that pollen grain. Say for example we wish to revisit uh, this particular pollen image here. So to do that we drag and drop it into the classic finder uh, and then it then prompts us to ask or then ask for the slide. Another convenient feature of the system is that it can be accessed remotely. So an expert palynologist can uh, log into the system and observe uh, image capture and perform classification and identification remotely. They don't need to be in the same room, the same building, the same town or even the same country uh, as the system in operation. This concludes a brief demonstration of the Classifinder Automated Pollen Counting System. Thank you very much.